The AACN Essentials is a competency-based framework for nursing education that defines the knowledge, skills, and abilities nurses must possess at all levels of professional practice. The Essentials covers 10 domains and 45 competencies, with sub-competencies outlining expected behavior at entry level or level one, and advanced level or level two programs. Across nursing, it is strongly agreed upon that preparing nurses with the competencies and sub-competencies delineated in the Essentials will help to address gaps that currently exist in the healthcare system and prepare nurses who are more ready to practice. The subcompetencies were written as descriptive behaviors. However, some of the behaviors are interpreted or not clearly understood by everyone. Recognizing that effective assessment depends on well-defined expectations for students and faculty, AACN has worked with leaders in academic nursing and taken feedback from member schools to develop a set of progression indicators. Progression indicators or behavioral performance indicators are descriptive observable behaviors of the sub-competencies that provide a clear picture of what a learner should be able to do at specific points in their education, helping faculty assess student success on the road to competency. Each sub-competency has progression indicators under two categories, developing the behaviors showing that students are progressing toward competence and developed the behaviors a practice-ready student consistently demonstrates prior to or upon completing their program. Developing behaviors should be assessed at earlier points in the curriculum to provide timely feedback and assure student advancement, while developed behaviors should be consistently demonstrated by graduation. The progression indicators were intentionally written to not extend beyond the scope of each subcompetency, which is why some developing indicators may still include knowledge-focused verbs. You can use the progression indicators in scaffolding and rubric design, but they should not be treated as a checklist. They show developmental growth and are not indicative of line-by-line -line improvement between stages of education. This reinforces flexibility over rigid sequences. Faculty should focus on the behaviors that are present rather than those that are not. As a whole, progression indicators are designed to align with expectations practice partners have for new nurse graduates, inform curriculum design, guide student assessment, and ensure consistency across coursework and clinical experiences. Remember that competency-based assessment focuses on integrated practice, not isolated skills, so clustering competencies and subcompetencies is critical for experiential learning for nursing practice. These behaviors are meant to be observed over a period of time, reflecting a learner's ongoing development rather than on an assessment of skills at a single point in time. When used with AACN's other competency-based education tools, nurse faculty are well-equipped to prepare high-quality, practice-ready nurses able to thrive in the ever-changing world of healthcare.